Indiana's blog, you don't get enough protein if you're vegan. I want to see your blood test doing that. I don't believe you. So I was reading Kevin Yarney's blog. Awesome bananas. Anyway, so I'm reading Kevin Yarney's blog. I've got nothing personal against Kevin Yarney. And I was reading his blog the other day. Someone sent it to me and said, Harley, can you please comment about this? And Kevin Yarney's basically just writing off the whole vegan lifestyle, saying vegan, low protein, anxiety, bad cholesterol. It's like a real subtle write-off there. Anyway, so Kevin, this person's asking Kevin for advice. I don't know why you'd ask Kevin for advice. He's not even a vegan. He's not even an athlete. All he does is sell superfoods and doesn't really, he's a journalist, you know, basically. He has no real experience. You're just not one of those people that believe you could be a breath air and or live on green juice or be a calorie restrictor. And then when they get dropped off the deep and they're like, oh, the vegan diet doesn't work. It's like, no, orthorexia doesn't work. Fanaticism doesn't work. Doing calorie restriction never fucking works. So all Kevin did is just give this person some links to his store where they can buy vegan protein powder and coconut oil. He didn't mention get to bed early, get enough calories, drink enough water, make sure you're not training harder than smarter, make sure you're not overtraining, make sure you're taking care of your social issues. He didn't mention any of that at all. He just said, go to the shop, buy the protein powder, buy the coconut oil, and maybe a vegan diet doesn't work for it anyway. <laughs> So I just had to comment on that one. That's my little rant. Um, just hilarious. People just making money, just staying in the vegan realm just to cash in on the ignorance of the newbies, the fear and paranoia. It's amazing. And I disagree with that. I disagree with that. So anyway, enough ranting. I just wanted to share these blood tests. This is my latest blood test. I've been vegan for 11 years now, heavy on the fruits. Vegan for 11 years, heavy on the fruits. Now, I should be having crazy fucked up blood tests. Now, remember, the only supplement I take is a vitamin B12 due to... A genetic issue where I don't produce enough intrinsic factor or absorb whatever. So I do a B12 shot, I give it to myself once a month, once every two months. Takes me 30 seconds, boom, in the deltoid, done. It costs me like $2 or some crazy amount of money every few months. So maybe 10, 20 bucks a year I spend on supplements for B12. It's the only supplement I've ever taken in the last 11 years. And I've done videos where the average paleo primal diet eater is on 126 different supplements a day, average. I've done, I've done plenty of videos about that one, just look it up. Paleo diet, 126 supplements a day or whatever. So it's crazy. The supplement industry is a $24 billion US industry a year in the US alone. In the US alone. So you've got people like McCola, David Wolf, Daniel Vitalis, Kevin Gianni, just cashing in on this $24 billion US hot pot of money to be had in the health industry. I don't go down that area. For me, that's not what I want to do. My moral compass steers me in the other direction. I just personally promote lifestyle, health and fitness and dietary fundamentals before people go down that sort of route where they're you know, taking 20 supplements a day, superfoods and all this Alexa nonsense. So anyway, enough ranting. Here's my blood test. What I've done is made it really easy. You can pause the video anytime you want. I just <laughs> rattled them off. Testosterone, hemoglobin, ALD, AST, cholesterol, triglycerides, uric acid, urea. All these things, and you can just check them out and pause, click. Share this video, people. Send it to people who are skeptics. I've been one of the people in the health industry who takes the least supplements in the last 11 years. I definitely would be in that in that little small percentage right down the bottom. And you'd have people up top like Mark, Sisson, Dr. McCola, all the, the supplement sellers, takers, and I'd be like right down, you know, right under the computer desk with the, the cockroach dung and the, the silverfish. That's where I would be. So I put my blood tests up for transparency. So not a lot of people find my advice. I'll put it up. Here you go. 11 years vegan, only one supplement, heavy on the fruits, early nights, getting the sunshine, getting the sleep, getting the sport, having fun, dealing with stress, managing stress, and that's what I'm always about. Often people focus on diet and they forget their lifestyle. They forget the importance of early nights. They forget the importance of hydration. They forget the critical, vital, essential, fundamental of being a fit person. If you're not fit, you're not healthy. Simple as that. I'm not talking drug fit, steroid fit. I'm talking fit fit, naturally fit, balanced training, training smarter versus harder. If you're not fit, you're not healthy. Post your comments and questions down below. Share this video with the skeptics, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.